And I think, lastly, yes, for my cancers out there, my beautiful cancer babies. Four of Wands. This is so great. I mean, like, 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 Cancer rules the fourth house. It's the house of home and family and security. And the Four of Wands is about, all about finding that, like, celebration and, and passion and, and insecurity. So it's about, like, a really positive, beautiful union here. So what I am seeing is that for Cancer to really step in to the awareness of how to call in and honor, you know, the passionate life that draws in a sense of stability and excitement, you know, like love and family and security along with, you know, drive and ambition and building something and action and forward momentum. All of that is going to really require Cancers to not offer a home to anyone for a minute. You have to search yourself. You have to seek yourself. You have to find you know, all the places in your home, within your shell, that, that don't work for you first. You need to find all that information within. You need to find what kind of life and what kind of structure and what kind of stability is worth standing up for. And what stuff doesn't really serve you. And you only find that by shedding your own personal light through some time, some focus, some meditation on it. That's how you figure out whether or not the stuff that you're really trying to build security with actually serves that security or if it's creating a prison around you. You know, we talked a lot during cancer season about how cancer is this, you know, it's a primary water sign, you know, the very first water sign of the zodiac. It is deeply tied to the unconscious and to memory, you know, and our very much our crustacean, you know, origins, like brain evolutionary wise. And through all that, it's like, there's all these temptations to solidify, to make safe in ways that don't actually serve us being able to go forward. And that's what I warned about a ton in cancer season is not getting wrapped up in memories that, that basically add weight to our shell. Okay. Because the point of a, a crab or a lobster having its shell, or let's just go with the crab because that's cancer. Cancer is a crab. Cancers, crabs can retreat fully into their shells, right? So, that's only positive if they can move outside of their shell. If you can be inside the shell, but you can't move outside of it, then that's really just a prison and you're going to suffocate and die in it eventually. Or you're going to grow too much and it won't be able to contain you and then you'll suffocate and die. And that's a lot of the ways in which cancers kind of, like, they hold on to their idea of security and end up suffocating themselves. But if you want to embrace all of the joy, all of the union, all of the, you know, the fullness that's available in the Four of Wands, you have to be able to, you know, be be able to hold space for the breadth and the width and the depth of what you've gone through and allow it to just, you know, make your shell, you know, stronger, but not carrying that baggage on top of the shell because all that baggage on it will squeeze you, squeeze you down. And the more you add like little traumas over time, they just add up to the point where you don't feel safe exploring. And if you don't go out and explore, because again, cancer, because y'all are so safe, secure, and at home feeling, you have the tendency to actually just not go out of your houses. Like you have the tendency to be a homebody. Without that safety and security of a movable but strong shell, you will not be able to take the action that is required to go out into life, to exude who you are, to illustrate your creativity and your passion and your lust for life and, and your energy that will attract new people to be in your aura, in your vortex, new people who might want to partner up with you in business ideas or in communities or in part in like actual romantic partnerships or friendships or whatever you, whatever the fuck. But there's so much abundance to be had here. If and only if that you're willing to pursue yourself in such a way that you can find some things that you're willing to stand up for, willing to stand alone on, but that still give you a kind of worldview that makes it safe for you to operate out in the world through. So that's all that I got for every sign for this week.
how to use this hermit's energy, how to work with all of that in the context of the Leo Aquarius polarity that we're slow building up until the full moon on Thursday morning. All of this is being invited out of us up until then and for the next two weeks after. Um, yeah, it's a lot of vibes, a lot of energy. I hope that this helped us all like kind of see a little deep.